Welcome back everyone to another episode of advanced WordPress theme development. In the previous video we learned about what are themes and what are the basic minimal files that are required to create a WordPress theme and in this tutorial we are going to learn further about adding like functions etc. Okay so let's continue. The first thing we're going to do is basically add a git ignore file because we want to push it on git. So I'll just add git ignore inside of my themes directory and I've just pasted some uh, some of the file names that we may uh, not want to push on github and let's just also add a readme.md so I'll just hit file say readme.md and for now we can just say wordpress theme Aquila. Okay, and let's just push it. So let's go to WP content folder and inside of themes, Aquila. Okay, and then we're going to push it on the GitHub. So I've already created the repository. I'll just use that. So we'll use git init and then git add all and then git first commit and then add the remote and just push it on to the github okay awesome so while this happens let's get back uh, so there are some other files related to wordpress as well and one of the key ones are functions.php okay so let's add functions.php and what happens is that the moment you create a file name functions.php WordPress automatically includes that for you. Okay, so you don't have to really do like include ones like you do in PHP. Uh, WordPress is going to look for if there is a file name functions.php that exists in your theme. If it does, it's going to include that automatically. Okay. Okay, so we're going to add functions theme functions okay and then let's make sure we add package name the reason why we do that is because uh, in case if this file is you know placed somewhere else at least we know that it belongs to Aquila which is our theme okay so we'll come back to the functions.php in a moment but uh, I think it's important to now talk about uh, creating the header and the footer okay so generally, uh, in any of the themes, header and footer is something that is going to be present on all of the pages. In fact, this entire thing is also going to be present on all the pages, only the content would change, right? So what do we do in that case? The first thing we're going to do is first create a header. So this, let's say this is my header and let's create a footer as well. This is my footer for now, okay? So how it works is that in WordPress theme, you can create a file called header.php. And this is what we generally do. And then let's create a file called footer.php. Okay, again, inside of the header.php, we will add a comment, comment says header file, add package, Aquila. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is, okay, let's, add a comment for footer as well footer we'll make it a, we'll name it as template because it's template footer template and header template okay and let's close the PHP tag because we're going to write some HTML as well so add package Aquila okay Great. So what we're going to do is, since this header and all of this stuff, it's going to be repeated. In fact, let's just add content also, like content. Okay. So since content would be probably different on each of the page, but this part, the header and all of this that you see here is going to be repeated on the page. Let's put that in the header. Okay. And everything from the footer we're going to put that inside of the footer 
Okay, and generally what you would do is probably inside of PHP you will do include once and then you'll include like header.php and then you'll include footer.php, right? That's what you will traditionally do in PHP. However, in WordPress, uh, we have got access to some of the WordPress functions which will allow us to, uh, you know, do this job for us automatically. Uh, so what we're going to do is instead of saying include once, we're going to call a function that WordPress provides called get header. So it's going to include the header for us. And similarly, for footer, we're going to say get footer and it's going to include that for us. Okay. And as a convention, it is said that in PHP file, you should not close the PHP tags. So I'm just going to leave this open and probably move this on a next line. Okay, so, so this is my content and I've included the header and the footer and now if I go back and check I should be able to get my header, my footer, my content. So if I do an inspect element, I just want to show it to you. You can see I've got my HTML, my head, body and inside of that I've got header and I've got footer as well, right? This is awesome. Great. Now what goes behind the scene? Uh, if you check if you click on get header function what happens in WordPress so you can see that it loads the header template which is header.php includes header template from the theme um, or if a name is specified then a specialized header will be included which means it is possible that on certain pages you may want a header to look a little different at that time you can create custom header template for that and just pass in uh, you know that particular header name inside of that okay so like header special dot php and then pass special so create a file called header special dot php and just pass like special over here okay but in our case let's just stick to this one for now what happens then is uh, if there is no name if it's not a custom header header then it's going to use the do action and there's an entire series that I have available on the actions and filters uh, which is what which are WordPress hooks uh, which you can read but to bring it short hooks will allow you to as the name suggests hooks will allow you to hook in your own functionality or you know feature uh, at that particular point so you know you can have the uh, you can do the add action and hook into this hook and just change the name uh, over here if you like to something else so you can basically add your feature or functionality or a uh, piece of information over here okay so here it checks template checks names and then finally it uses locate template function so locate template function again if you can keep going like you know it's like uh, in WordPress you can keep going one function calls some other function set of functions and then you can go inside of that and call some other functions as well but just to understand if you ever want to go and find out what they're doing and like in PHP I have an option to press command B and it takes me directly to where the definition of that function is if you're using some other projects then you can probably like search like this you know like locate template probably takes some more time but you can find out which are which is the place where it is defined okay so again locate template the job of this is basically to locate the template okay and then a lot of thing goes on over here it takes uh, it checks the path and everything and then if it's located it's just going to return that right so it returns the template file name once it's located so that's what happens in the header get header and similar thing happens in the footer as well okay so i won't be going into the detail you can see that the same thing is happening so it's calling the footer dot uh, php is so basically locating that template for you so wordpress functions do a lot of job for us it makes our life a lot easier okay cool so we've got get header and get footer now coming back over here okay so i think that's pretty much it for this video i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, do sub uh, do follow me on github my github handle is imran it sayed and if you like my work you can start this repository as well and also uh, do follow me on Twitter as well. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.